Good morning, back out in the woods, and today I'm going to show you how to make a rocket stove from a piece of wood. Ideally, I'm looking for a branch about four or five inches in diameter, dead standing wood. This looks to be an ideal culprit if I can get it down. But I don't want to be killing myself. <laughs> I'll take this back to camp and I'll process it down. I only want about a foot long. But the rest can be used for firewood. I only need a section of about one foot long for this. So I'll just saw out a nice knot free area. Probably that section there. one there we go now I just have to split the wood into quarters just down there I'll do that using the, the axe. That's the wood split into quarters. And that's how it all fits together. But now I need to take away some of this material here. So now I'm just going to go down about maybe five inches from the top and I'm going to cut down maybe half an inch into the wood. Like that. And do the same on all four pieces. Then take your knife or your axe and just remove this excess bit of material by battening through. Do this on all four pieces. Now I'm going to take these two largest pieces here 
and I'm going to cut a section out here to be able to feed into the stove. First of all, I'm going to take away a little bit more of this material using my knife. Quite hard wood this. The stove will actually work better on something like pine. So now to take away a section from here. I'm going to cut through here like so. Using the, the line that's already there. I'm going to go through maybe half to three quarters of an inch. Just half an inch. Make sure I saw the right side. Same on this one. And then we move a section through here. Either use your saw, your knife, or your axe. Need to be careful here because I don't want to lose a finger. Keep carving this channel out to get to the centre chamber of the stove. There we go. Keep carving away. Watch your fingers. Make sure I'm not holding like that. Hold in there. Holding the axe right near the end to control. There we go. And now when you put these together, you should see there's a hole to feed your, your rocket stove, which leads into this chamber, which then is the chamber for the centre of your stove. Now you can just bind these with a bit of rope. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some spikes on the bottom and then pound them into the ground. See how that works. There's one. There's all four done. And there we have the makings of our stove. I'm going to take that bit of a knot out of there. Hopefully now we can have a drink. Let's get this put into the ground and then we'll put a pot of water on and see how it goes. Right, let's get the first one in. Pop 
part two. And three. And the last piece. That's the stove. Here you can see the chamber down the middle. And that's where we're going to feed our fire. I've got two green sticks that I've carved a couple of flats on just so that they don't roll off the stove. These chippings here, these are just for what's left over from cutting out the centre of the, the rocket stove. They'll make excellent fuel just to get the stove going. And then what I'm doing now is I'm just shaving off some fat wood just to get the initial flame. That should be enough to get the stove started. So I've got my tinder, a little bit of kindling, just to get it going. So now I'm going to light this with a spark, put it on this piece of bark, feed it into the stove, and then we'll see if we can get some, some water brewing. So there's the fat we're going already. Just one spark. Try and get that to feed into the stove. Put it out. We've still got some going there, so it's not bad. Feed that in steadily, like so. And let's start and feed some of this small kindling into the stove. Some more shavings. Just place them inside. Starting to smoke a little bit. Broke off another little piece of fat wood here just to hopefully accelerate things along. Well, the chimney bit seems to be working. The middle piece of fat wood. Let's chop that in. Oh, we seem to be going a little bit there. More flame. Get the pot stand ready. A little flame coming out the top now. some water in. Let's fill it halfway. More than enough for, for a drink. Put the lid on top. Stove seems to be going really well now. Flames coming out the top so we'll get the pot on top and boil some water. It's 
stove's ticking along nicely now. Smoking quite a bit. If the fire starts to die down a little bit, just give it a blow. Water's boiling now. Here's what the stove looks like now. You can see where it burns away. But it's still Raging hot. And if you want the flame to really go for it, again, just blow on it. I've hardly used any wood at all. In fact, there's only really the, the top six to eight inches that's burnt in the piece of wood. It's very efficient, very useful if you don't want to make a full fire on the ground. I can now put this out with some water and there'll be virtually no trace whatsoever. Now I'm just going to put the fire out, a little bit of water. I'll leave that a short while and come back and check on it before I leave the area just to make sure that everything's fully out and I'll remove the stump from the ground and there'll be virtually no trace that I've had a fire at all other than a few pieces of burnt wood so that's how I make a rocket stove just using a one foot long piece of wood hope you like the video don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, goodbye.